Where will Chelsea do their shopping in the remaining days of the January transfer window? Where do they badly need some reinforcements? Shaka, there's some good players yes. linked with them. Uh, and you would have thought they could pretty much get any of them if they wanted, given that he's a Chelsea fan, Jaden Sanchez. I'm not, I'm not sure that they could get Mr. Cavani as we sit right now. Right, but top three. And, and the, the challenge for me in, in looking at this is I find a lot of these players are maybe surplus to requirements or, or they have very good options already in those positions. And I'm, I'm a top three and... and I have a feeling I'm going to regret seeing this. I, I'm actually going to go Piantec, and I need to explain why. You do? I, I like Tammy Rams a lot, and I think he's an incredible talent. I think part of the drop-off that you're seeing from Tammy Rams right now is that there's, no, there's not enough competition for places for him as, as an out-and-out -out striker. So while I will say you may not need an Enzo Cavani because that takes away that position and I think relegates uh, Tammy Rams to the bench, I do feel he needs somebody who will push him to be better because I think he will be great for Chelsea in the long term. So that might seem an, an odd pick, but I hope my explanation kind of clears up my thinking in that regard. Okay, yeah, he's uh, obviously struggled for form this year, uh, Piontek at Milan, and could do with a change of scene. Mm -hmm. It's been long since uh, rumoured to be moving on. Um, where else are you going? Defensive needs, of course, Lewis Dunk's been linked. Chilwell also. I, I'm, I'm, again, I, I think Chelsea have more than enough defensively. Hmm. Uh, young players as well coming through, I think you bear with that talent. Dries Mertens is a player I've admired a lot. Now, as we sit right now, I, I, I say openly, I'm not sure that he wants or needs to leave Napoli. But what Dries Mertens offers in terms of directness, in terms of um, what he brings from, from either flank from set pieces. I like a lot. I, listen, diminutive and, and maybe as a result, given the physicality of the Premier League, that might work against him. But just out and out talent, I, I'll have Dries Mertens in my team every single day of the week. Very creative, obviously, for that younger front line. Um, where else then? Number one, I go Hakim Zayek, who's Ooh. been heavily linked with Chelsea. And the reason for it is, as you look at the uh, Chelsea's midfield right now, I don't think they have a player with the passing range and the ability to run at defenders like Ziyech does. I think Jorginho has the passing range. I think he, and I've said this before, I think he's restricted in that he doesn't engage defenders. He doesn't go at players. So you know that once he gets on the ball, just cut out the passing lanes and you rule him ineffective. What you see from Ziyech is if you cut out those passing lanes, he will run at you and he will engage defenders and he will make space open up. And then with a gem of a left foot is as good a pass of the ball in and around the box that you can see, not just in and around the box, but also over 30 or 40 yards. He can, he can put it on a, on a, on a 10 pence piece. I like Ziyech a lot. So he gets my, my number one nod for Chelsea as this dressing room sits right now. Okay, so it's all attack minded for Shaka at least as Chelsea go looking to solidify a top four finish in Frank Lampard's first season in charge. Fascinating to see where they go. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.